Hello and welcome back to the Air RTS series on UV4. In this episode, we're going to finish off our camera work by adding an ability to zoom in and zoom out and make that in turn affect the way we scroll around the map. So currently we've got it scrolling at a set speed. That speed will change based on how far we're zoomed in and how far we're zoomed out. So let's get started with that. The first thing we need to do is set up the input controls on the controller as this is the thing that is controlling the game. So we're looking for a mouse wheel here. So we're going to go mouse wheel and you want mouse wheel uh, event for axis. And this gives us an axis value, basically telling us which way we're going up or down. And we're going to use that to change a value. Now the value we're going to change is a new variable. And this variable is going to be the zoom factor. So zoom factor. And that will be a float. You're going to take this axis value and you're going to simply just add it on to our zoom factor. For now anyway. Plug that in and then set that to zoom factor. Now let's print string that value coming out. Push play. Okay, and if I move the mouse wheel in, it goes up. I move the mouse wheel out, it goes down. So one click of my mouse, well one turn of my mouse wheel, uh, one little like nodule, little turn, is increasing it by one, or decreasing it by one. So that's important to know because we need to know how much we need to zoom in by um, and zoom out by. Now I'm looking, if I set this down to zero and I turn my mouse wheel one full rotation that I've got on my, on my finger, I go to about eight, okay? So if I want to, I can probably decide now what sort of zoom scale factor I want to go up to and what ones I want to go back to. So I'm thinking of going up to a size of an eight or 10. So going between zero and 10. So let's take that RTS controller and I'm going to use this zoom factor and then we're going to clamp it. So we're going to clamp the value, sorry, on the other side. Clamp a float. And we're going to choose the value of 0 and 10. Okay. We're then going to take our zoom factor here and make it affect our uh, uh, camera. Now, what we're going to do for this is we're going to actually get hold of our camera in the begin play. Right click and get target. You'll see get view target. And this will return whichever actor we're currently looking through. Uh, in which case, this will be the camera. So let's take that out and cast to our uh, camera, uh, RTS camera. Plug that in. And as RTS camera, we're going to promote that to a variable. And we'll call that just RTS camera. Now we can go back to our mouse wheel axis and look at the zoom factor here. And I've got my RTS camera with a spring arm. So let's drag out our camera, get the spring arm component which is at the bottom of this list. And then from there, we're going to set the target arm length. Basically how far away the camera is. Now, the number we're going to use here is going to be based upon our maximum and minimums that we're going to need for our target arm length. So on my camera here, I'm going to have this spring arm be a maximum of 3,000 and a minimum of 1,000. So I'm going to go back to my RTS controller and I need to turn this factor which is a, a maximum of 10 to those values so i'm going to take this value here and multiply that by 200 so when it's at maximum zoom factor of 10 this will be equal to uh, 2000 then i want to offset by 1000 because i want the minimum to be 1000 so if this is zero i want this to be uh, 1000 so let's say that would be zero so then we want to add a thousand to it and then we're going to plug that in to our target arm length. Now hit compile and hit play. And now my mouse wheel will control the zoom. So a few things we're going to just tweak this to make this better. So on my camera, uh, sorry, my camera, my controller, we're going to set the zoom factor to start off as uh, halfway, so which is going to be five. And we're going to tell our axis value here to f inverse and flip. Because at the moment, zoom, when I push the wheel up, it's zooming uh, out rather than in. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to inverse it. So I'm going to multiply it by 
minus 1. So when it's positive, it becomes negative. When it's negative, it becomes positive. Hit play. So now we're halfway zoom in. If I move in with my mouse wheel, I can move out with my mouse wheel. Okay. And there you have it. So next I need to make it so that the target arm length directly affects the speed of the camera. Because if I move my mouse, it isn't too accurate it's a bit too fast okay so let's go to our camera here so in your RTS camera you want to go into your move left function and we'll take from this vector and drag it down and do make vector and this vector we're gonna have uh, to get our spring arm out and get the target arm length of that and we're going to normalize this value to a range and the range we're going to go for is the range of our zoom. So we go from 1000 to 3000. So the closer it gets to 1000, it'll be 0. The closer it gets to 3000, it'll be 1. So I'm going to take those values and then I'm going to multiply that by 40 and then add 60 onto it. So the fastest it'll go is 100 and the slowest it'll go is going to be 60. We called this the offset. So we're going to put that onto there. Okay. Now, that will do there. Hit compile. And we should notice on the move left, when I zoom in, the camera will move a lot slower than the other directions because we haven't done those yet. But it's more relative to its location. Okay. Just makes it a bit more controllable. So let's go back in and do that same thing for the other directions as well. However, let's make it a bit easier for ourselves and let's turn this into a function. So this function is, I'm going to drag this out and we're going to right click collapse the function and we'll do this as a get camera speed. And we're going to add a new input to this one and we'll do this as a scale factor and that'll be a, int uh, a float, sorry. And this scale factor will be used to determine whether or not it's going to the left or to the right by multiplying by minus value. Um, I don't need this thing to be an impure function, so we'll just make it a pure one. So go to pure. And the scale factor here is going to be 1. And that goes into there. And that'll give us the thing. So now if I go to the right hand side one, I'm going to drag out from here and do make vector. And from that, I can drag out my get camera speed, plug that into the X, but scale factor of minus one. And then I'm going to go into my move down, make vector, get camera speed, and this will go into the Y. And this was the negative, wasn't it? This one, I think. Uh, yep. So move down is negative, so that'd be minus one. And then finally, we've got move up, make vector, and that'd be get camera speed, y, scale factor of 1. Now go into your get camera speed, and we're going to have to use this scale factor, and we're going to use it over here. So we're going to do multiplied by, and um, addition, we want to end it off by multiplying it by the scale. So do multiplied, plug that into there, and the scale will drag straight into it. So now if it's going to the left or right, it will change polarity. So hit that and now we can play our game and our camera will now be moving relative to its zoom. And if it all goes well, it should relatively look the same. Sort of speed. And you can tweak these numbers as much as you like. I chose 40 and 60, but you can choose whatever you want. Uh, and you can choose which kind of zoom you want as well. It's all up to you. Thanks very much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to add our work for our selection tool. So we can select units by clicking and dragging across our screen and drawing a little box to select all the items underneath it. If you want to watch that part right now, head over, head over to my patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where all my patrons and supporters over there get access to all my videos well before anyone else. Big thank you to everyone who has shown their support. 
If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to, don't miss out on any of my content by hitting that little notification bell. You get a little notification every time I release a video, which is pretty much every day now. Thanks very much for your time, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.